So you might ask, what is the Vandal period and why is it important? And the answer is, it is where the Viking Age came from, or rather what sets the groundwork for the Viking Age in Scandinavia and therefore also, as you might have guessed, the Vikings. And the Vandal period describes the time between the Migration period, around 550, and um, the Viking Age, around 790. So it is the first kind of medieval, proto-medieval-like society and time in Scandinavia. And for the average farmer, the life was not that different in the Vandal period compared to the Viking Age, but one thing that really sets them apart is how they structured their military and how they practiced warfare. Since in the Viking Age, the Scandinavians started to, um, well, set out and raid continental Europe. As you might know, in the Viking Age, the Scandinavians conquered parts of England, they raided Paris, Constantinople, Rome and basically every other city on the shoreline. So. This was something that was not possible in the Vandal period. So they went from raiding the neighboring clans and villages to setting sail to the rich empires on the continent and raiding them and their rich monasteries. So the Viking Age even starts with the famous raid on the monastery of Lindisfarne in England in 792. And even if you've never heard of the Vandal period before, you might still know some of its most famous artifacts. For example, this helmet, often stated to be out of the Viking Age, is actually out of the Vandal period. And it is even called the Vendel Helmet, so it's one of the most famous artifacts out of that time. And we can be very lucky that we have this one, since helmets don't tend to survive that long in the ground. There are only a few found in total, so we can really be happy to have this one. Another one is this uh, kind of raven brooches, you might know, and they are also out of the Vendel period. You won't find these produced in the Viking Age. In the Viking Age they do, did not get produced, they maybe have worn them still out of the Vandal period, but in the Viking Age, especially in the later Viking Age, the Thor's hammer gets a lot more common, you, you know that, right? And this maybe connects to the switch in military action from the Vandal period to the Viking Age, since uh, in the Viking Age, as I said, they, they focused more on seafaring and, uh, well, their military focus switched on the sea, on raiding, sailing to faraway places to raid them. And the sea and seafaring is something considered to be a swear of Thor, not of Odin. So maybe, since their military, military action switched to the sea, they also had a switch in a mythological and cultural level to rather um, back for protection from Thor rather than from Odin. But uh, that's just a theory, but I think it's pretty sound. Another thing that is considered in the Vandal period is their size of military, since we do not really see any large kingdoms in the Vandal period on Scandinavia, but rather small kingdoms, rather tribes and, and clans fighting each other or ruling, and therefore the smaller kingdoms would not really have the power to gather resources to, for example, attack Paris or something like this that would not have been possible there. Um, they would rather gather small groups, put them in a few ships and sail to their neighbors or to the Baltic coast, today's Russia, and rob them. But there's more differences between the two periods than just how they killed other people, so I will delve deeper into them, into the aspects of pre-Viking Age Scandinavia in following videos. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe to my channel to get the videos right away. And until then, see you there and have a great day. Goodbye.